23 years and led this program to an ACC tournament championship. Michael Shrewsbury took Penn State to the NCAA tournament last year for the first time since 2011. Notre Dame in the home white, Florida State, the traveling black, gold, and garnet, and Florida State will have the first possession. Three and one in conference play. Looking for that first true road win for the Knowles on the road. Worley trying to work inside. He's got the open man and Deontay Green. This is big time for Florida State because it allows them to set that full court pressure to try and generate those turnovers, forcing about 16 per game. Uh, turnover percentage of the opposition of about 20%. It all starts with their ability to put the ball in the basket. Notre Dame coming off the win Tuesday at Georgia Tech in overtime, 75-68, overcoming 39% shooting as a team stripped away, and here come the Knowles. Up ahead, Worley. Couldn't get the angle, second effort, knocked around. Jai had it for a moment, and now Roper has it for the Irish. An early sample size of what Florida State likes to do. A deflection leads to a runout, just can't convert. And as they had it rejected, Baba Miller got back defensively to erase that shot from Fenezny. Baba Miller, length, athleticism, and timing all coming at an intersection there for a highlight block defending the rim. A lot of professional scouts here with eyes on the black jersey number 11, what he can provide both defensively and offensively. Now has 17 blocks this season to lead Florida State in that category. Burton, shot clock inside of 10, over two defenders. Marcus Burton. Just comfortable among the trees. Got a little bit of separation fading and put the arc on it to go untouched. He's a tough finisher. The freshman score for the Irish and a three wide open for Green. Dante Green felt a nice little jump there early on, getting a layup and working his way out, getting warm here. This is Roper trying to answer from the corner, raise the backboard. For Green, he had been one of ten from beyond the arc prior to that shot. Averaging six and a half points per game for Florida State. Watkins almost lost it. Chuff. And that's what Notre Dame wants to do. They want to set that defense, even sag a little bit, pack it in. Dare the Knowles to make some of these three-point shots, but make them have to operate in the half-court setting. If Notre Dame is able to come away with victory today, that would be three ACC wins. That would equal the total from a season ago when they went three and 17 and finished 14th in the conference. 11 and 21 overall last year. Kinesne the kick coming out of the corner for three, and it's Booth. This is the game plan for this Irish group. Drive and kick. There's going to be opportunities to pursue gaps. Booth, who's starting to play his best basketball as a freshman getting acclimated, steps into a good Off the glass and good on the drive from Watkins at the other end. Mentioned he's the leading scorer for Florida State, just over 13 points per game, and shoots 42% from the floor, and it helps when you drive it for the layup. Burton. On the backdoor cut, Kinesny from the corner, and he connects for three. Great execution, cutters, and a high-level decision from Burton to distribute to the baseline of Kinesny for three. 19 made threes on the season now for Kinesny. And Roper came away with that one, found Burton. It's rare to have decision-making like that in a freshman. And here he goes again, finding his guys for shooting opportunities. Roper. Cannot find the range from three-point real estate. But Burton having the opportunity to get into the teeth of the defense, collapse it, exploit it for looks. Worley crossed it over on the drive, and now Burton will pick up his first personal foul. Tom, check it out right here. Great spacing, good back cut. Now the defense vulnerable. Draw in Miller, kick out to the baseline. Three, Kinesny, three-piece snug. That certainly is a positive for Notre Dame, despite that foul being assessed to Burton. That three by Kinesny. This Notre Dame team shoots 29% from beyond the arc. That is last in the ACC. They've made two early on here in the first half. And yet, Tom, they're still not going to shy away from taking it. Top 50 in three-point shots taken this year. That spins off the rim, and Roper again able to corral it. And Notre Dame will pump up about 24 three attempts per game. 
And in total, they only trail Pitt in total three-point attempts as Kinesny stumbles down. But again, it's the belief from Coach Shrewsbury. This roster they've constructed is built with shooters. Just quite frankly, as they're learning a system, learning to play with each other, they're finding their strokes, so those percentages are dismal. But they're, they're headstrong, and it's still going to be pursue gaps, drive and kick, and take those threes. Eventually, the numbers will start to come your way, and they have in the last few games. Florida State interception on the reap inbounds. Whistle was called a foul on the play. That'll be against Jai, his first. I think it spoke to desperation from Kinesny on the out of bounds under trying to inbound the basketball. I mean, percentage of completion there, zero percent on wild card Saturday. I think that that'd be fair to call it. Florida State coming off the win Tuesday against Wake Forest, 87 82. They shot 51 percent as a team. That's Worley with the short jumper. Florida State went to the line 30 times in that game against Wake Forest in Tallahassee and made 24 of them. Got to try to find a touch for Kevin Jai down low just to kind of settle their offense. Here you go. He's got to be aggressive here, not wait. Got some space, put it on the floor. Miller deflected the first shot. Second effort in a congested area and a whistle and foul. So Jai sticking with it. Foul on the play. Slim lead for Florida State in the first half on the CW. Sit and rot over there on the bench, and I'll, I'll find a way. I'll go and talk to the people in yeah, compliance. I, I will help you transfer because this culture is getting built the right way. And if you ain't a part of it, you're out. And I don't care. You know. And that was after the loss, December 19th against the Citadel, 65 45. Strong words from the head coach. And for those who maybe aren't in the know, Coach Shrewsbury was a hell of a player for one, so he gets it from that side. He's got a great sense of humor for two. Very underrated there. Spent a lot of time hanging out with him yesterday. Uh, but he has a great pulse for his group, and it's a very new group. And what was fascinating about that is that's, that excerpt, that sound bite we heard, he said that to his group in the locker room. So it wasn't new to them. But he took culpability in the fact that he said, in building a culture, the group needs to know each other. And so he wanted to sit him down as Miller goes in. And the drive and the cut begets an offensive rebounding opportunity there for Ganey, but what Shrewsbury said was, these guys are so new together, this group. They need to get to know each other. Why do you play basketball? Why did you choose Notre Dame? And in that, they grew closer. He, he noticed a disconnect with the team, made them closer, started to translate into better basketball. And they get to at the other end as well. Jai. Saw those numbers that have improved. Both ends of the floor for the Fighting Irish, seven and nine this season. They're five and five at home as they welcome Florida State, the only regular season meeting between the teams this season. Shrewsbury has the rebound. Green takes a look there from three. Now, he is one of the more dangerous guys shooting around 42% from distance, but still, it's still going to feel a pack in defense uh, with the Irish and dare this Florida State team to beat him from three. Nesny trying to work that baseline around Miller, threading that pass, a tough catch for Jai and a turnover. Watkins with the kick, the three-pointer and the miss on the attempt from Green. Uh, this feels like a, a, a possession where the Irish need to run some sort of set, develop a little bit of a rhythm here in the half-court offering to get them going here again and obviously take care of the basketball against a ravenous Florida State defense. Burton wants three and he will have it. Just 28% from the on the arc so far this season for Burton, but on target with that attempt. Ganey inside, double-fisted rim rocker once again for Ganey. I mean, that's pretty impressive offensive sequence from Bob Miller right there, operating with his size to be at a dribble baseline, commit two defenders and dump off guard-like skills. Shoes were headed, blocked by Ganey at the other end. Jalen Ganey, the graduate student from Greensboro, North Carolina, open lane and drive. Darren Green, Jr. for two. Once again, a sequence where the Knolls kickstart the offense with a shot block from Ganey to get him going the other way to, in pursuit of the early offense. Green, Jr. had 17 points in the win against Wake Forest. 
High rebound. Knezny stays with it. Second chance on the possession. Burton able to get it away from Ganey. Kick. Knezny for three. Worley does not have the numerical advantage and will wait for reinforcements. Watkins out of that corner. Foul goes against Watkins on the drive. We'll get a look. Looked like it was Kevin trying to step in for the charge. To, I mean, non-committal, quite frankly. I mean, take one more step, stay sturdy to plant those feet. Oh, wait, they did give it to him. They did call him. I didn't think that was a charge, to be quite honest. I didn't think he had set himself up. I thought he initiated the contact. Kind of surprised. Yeah, the point of emphasis this season, the defender must be in position outside of the restricted area prior to the plant foot going down for the driving player. So that is really the indicator that the officials are looking for today. Ramey Stions, Roger Ayers, and Justin Porterfield in charge of the action. So Watkins to the Florida State bench. He's got two we're gonna get another look. Yeah, I thought at the last minute, I, I felt like Jai leaned in to initiate the contact there. I, I thought that could have very well gone either way. So Watkins is one for three from the floor, a couple of points, and he's on the bench now with those two personal fouls. Imes is into the lineup, as well as Zona for Notre Dame. Shrewsbury, who made five threes in the OT win, tried to attack the glass and missed. Shrewsbury has been that microwave coming off the bench for this Irish team. Jackson into the lineup. Zero for Florida State. Also, Bull Bowen, number 10 for the Rolls. Spears wants a jumper. Primo Spears, the transfer from Georgetown, knocking it down. They're waiting for him to get going. Uh, mechanically, a beautiful stroke. Percentages haven't played that way, but he's a big-time threat. They're waiting for him to have that breakout game that could be this afternoon for the Knowles. A couple of players got tangled up underneath. Nickelberry going to be called for the foul for Florida State. It's a four-point lead for the Knowles on the road. On the seat. Back, a lot of the same people still around. It just speaks to how special this place is not just the, the, the school itself the program but the city of south bend is, is a second home for me and my family and it's always great coming back here great people special place and it's all because of coach bray that i was here and still am in an irish uniform from 01 to 05 and notre dame all time leading shot blocker jordan cornell that'll win you a lot of trivial pursuits the most <laughs> obscure record holder in all of college basketball. I just played with guys who didn't defend. All they could do was score, so I was that last line of defense. Florida State trying to defend Julian Roper. Shot clock is down at eight. For Burton. Down to three. Roper, the recognition and the shot, and he knocks it down. How about it? Roper, the best three-point shooter by percentage for this Irish team, 33%, and he's now made 17 of them on the season. Well, I think that also illustrates, illuminates the woes from distance for an Irish group that really struggles. 33% is solidly average at best, uh, but he provides a confident play there for them on their home floor to kind of get him going. And the Irish have made four three-pointers in this first half. Burton has one of them. Zona fought on the glass with Bull Bowen. Primo Spears, mid-range. Burton up for the rebound. Backdoor to Burton from Shrewsbury. Iron and Bull Bowen. Burton's done a sublime job of moving without the basketball. Being a receiver, cutting, putting pressure on that defense. Again, there couldn't convert, but I like how he's thinking the game even when he's not dominating the basketball. Cameron Porn is also into the game for Florida State, number three. He's trying to get that miss on the offensive glass. Comes back out, Nickelberry. Spears in traffic, got the shot away. 
a whistle prior to that shot attempt underneath. He was fouled on the play. I think they call that an and one. Well, Bowen, right place, right time. So Taylor Bull Bowen to the free throw line, the freshman from Jericho, Vermont. Roper picked up the foul for the Irish's first. So they will count that bucket. Chance at the old school three-point play. What a story that young man is, Jordan. Born in a refugee camp in Egypt. Moved to the United States when he was two years old. And the Bowen family in Vermont adopted him. His parents had to flee the Civil War in the Sudan. Pretty incredible. It's amazing. Played at Brewster Academy in New Hampshire for his prep ball. He is into the box score for Leonard Hamilton. An offensive rebound. Tom is what gets him there, and that was a concern coming in for the Irish. Look, this is not a very good defensive rebounding team for the Knowles, but they can get on the offensive glass and turn you over just like that. So it looked like Spears might have had it, but he was on the end line. So possession back to Notre Dame. Chesney's been very loosey-goosey with the basketball. A couple of turnovers, a couple of near turnovers. He needs to utilize the head fake. I tell, telegraph as much of what he's doing. Three turtle, turnovers so far in the first half of the Irish, and that is going to be a foul against Tom House, who's in there. And Florida State will use a large amount of players. In fact, the last two games, they've used 11 players, and all of them have scored at least one point in those two games. And there's an art to that system for Coach Ham because guys need to be engaged even when they're on the bench. But he said this, and he said it for years. You know this, Tom. He says, in my system, you can't play for 35 minutes. Guys are asking to come out because we want to put on the gas in spurts, sub you out, new bodies, overwhelm the opposition. And it's worked over the years for a legend. Times a lot of creative dribbling, and then he lays it in on the drive. It's a Florida State team that is versatile defensively that can switch everything. When you do that, sometimes there can be a miscommunication at times, and you got to explore that gap, and I'm just that in that sequence. Miller has to kick it out to Green. Seven different knolls have scored so far in the first half. Spears will spin in the paint. Come up short. Imes goes after it on the baseline. Can't pull it in. Florida State basketball. Irish have to feel good about how they valued the basketball against this very opportunistic Knowles defense. But in terms of the off defensive rebounding assignment, they're starting to shy away from grabbing those rebounds. Knowles have five offensive boards here. We've only played about 11 minutes of basketball. This is Green rising for a three. Zona over the top for the board. Notre Dame out rebounding Georgia Tech on the road for the OT win. 48 to 33 with a 15 rebound advantage in that OT win. In fact, they played three overtime games this season and gone two and one. Shrewsbury stumbling. Yeah, he's going to get subbed out for that one. That was, that, that was out of control offense. <laughs> I could read coach pretty well there. Braden needs to move that basketball. There's been a few sequences for the Irish. Too much dribbling. Not enough moving the basketball, which is the game plan to get the Knowles in rotation and try to take advantage. Miller steps into the three. Ball bounces around in the corner and goes out of bounds to Notre Dame. Dead ball, though, does give the Knowles the opportunity to apply that full court pressure here and try and get one, get a takeaway here from the Irish and try and build. Florida State able to turn Wake Forest over 20 times in that five-point victory. That game featured six ties and seven lead changes. Going down that road again this afternoon. Underneath, twisting shot, but Esney. They got the switch. They liked Himes on Miller. He's able to drive it a little bit, then playing off of it. Kinesny is the cutter. They have been active with cutters, and it's provided very nicely for the Irish in this first stance. Our fourth tie of the first half. Miller trying to untie us. Zona fought off one man with one arm and then grabbed the rebound. Times again. Perimeter work to Konezny on the drive. Cut off and then finds Imes. They're just whipping that ball around. Roper for three. 
That's a beautiful offense. That is an offensive cut up that you show your guys and say, bottle this up and let's serve that every time offensively. Drivers, swing, ball movement, everybody touches it. And Roper, the best three-point shooter, delivers from distance. Five of 10 on three-pointers in the first half for Notre Dame. Florida State has missed eight of its last nine, and now nine of 10. Backboard crushing. Can't Miller get those defensive alive. rebounds. Three-pointer, another miss. Green couldn't find it. Notre Dame in the midst of a 7-0 run. Leslie down the lane. Spins, got the shot away, and was fouled. It has some length. Three blocks are one of the best shot blocking teams in the conference. So when you come, you better come correct in the paint. Uh, this is a group that is going to apply some pressure. They have some athletes. They let that defense key their offense. But the Irish aren't worried about the interior. No, no. They're dialing down from distance, and they're doing it with movement. They're getting the Florida State into rotations. A group that shoots sub 30% for three on the season in the Irish are five of 10, shooting 50%. And I got to chuckle because I said to Coach Ham, I said, it's not like those typical Bray three point shooting teams. He goes, Jordan, I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> Notre Dame has a chance to get hot at any time. It always seems like they, we get their best shooting when we face them right now. That's absolutely what's happening. Fidesni is at the free throw line for Notre Dame. He's got one of those made threes. Burton has made one. Roper, two. And Kerry Booth had an early three-pointer as well for the Irish. By the way, how much fun is it just chopping up with Coach Ham at a shoot-around in a practice like we were able to do last yesterday, asleep ago? I mean, just an incredible guy. I mean, forget about the basketball chatter, just the life chatter. Amazing conversation with the 75-year-old coach from Gaston County, North Carolina. Looks better than me and you both. I'm it's sorry, it's incredible. I'm just being honest. You'll get no Cold argument balls and from strikes, me. Bro. That's bouncing around after the miss. All kinds of contact inside as Corrin tried to follow his miss and picked up the foul. You can't just push a guy in the back. I mean, look at him. He's glowing. In South Bend, nonetheless. You know how you can see the sun out here. It's gloomy. It's great. That guy looks fresh. Most wins in school history, 22nd year at Florida State, 36th year overall as a head coach. Oklahoma State, Miami, the NBA, Washington. What a career. 12 seasons at Kentucky under Joby Hall. And that includes the national championship in 78. He's a trailblazer. And when you live a clean, good life like, you, like he has, you look like that. He was the first black men's basketball player at UT Martin back in 1969. He's opened up a lot of doors for a lot of people. Amazing. Including both of us. Yes. Worley, a lot of dribbling. That foul is going to be against Jai. Second on Jai. So Jai is replaced by Zona. Florida State, Jordan, has missed 12 of its last 13 shot attempts. And yet it's still a four-point game. It speaks to who Notre Dame has become defensively since the call-out from Coach Shrews in that loss to the Citadel. Coach Shire came out of here narrowly with a Duke win and said, these guys can really guard. They're a tough out, and they're proving it here in the first 15. Holding the opposition to 41% shooting this season, second best in the ACC. Off of the miss, off of the backboard, and two for Worley. Florida State has been the tougher team when the 50-50 balls present themselves or the balls coming off the backboard for offensive rebounding opportunities. That's the one area where the Irish have kept the door open for the Knowles to keep it close. Worley now has four points in the first half. This is Burton. Drops it off zone. Got the defender in the air. It was Darren Green Jr. and he took an awkward tumble. Well, we have a moment. Tuesday on Inside the NFL. Nobody breaks down games like our crew with highlights and analysis you won't find anywhere else. This week, the guys take a look back at Super Wild Card Weekend and get you ready for the divisional round inside the NFL, Tuesday, 8, 7 Central, only on the CW. Hey, you get you get Chad, formerly Ocho Cinco, back to Johnson on anything, I'm watching. I'm a Bengals guy till the end. We should have been in the playoffs this year, but look, we made some tough breaks, most notably Joe Burrow's wrist.
Right there with you, Jordan. When the Patriots aren't involved, although the legend retires, yeah. and they go right to Gerard Mayo. Been there. I mean, life for him with the Patriots. That's all he knows, right? Drafted by him and stayed within the franchise. So there is a timeout on the floor. Taken by Florida State. Two-point game. Florida State down to 33% shooting in this first half. Notre Dame, conversely, 47%, and they're 5 of 10 from beyond the arc. Florida State is 1 of 7 on three-point attempts. I've been very impressed with how the Irish have moved the basketball, how they've gotten Florida State into rotations, how they've made the selfless extra pass to go from good shot opportunity to elite shot opportunity. Been impressed with the fight from Florida State most especially on the backboard to keep this thing close. They've generated some turnovers to give them life with runouts. They haven't generated the amount of turnovers they would have wanted in this first half to push them to be leading this game, but that's why you see a tight one. It's been the backboard offensively for Florida State. It's been the three-point shot for the Irish in these first 15. We are one of seven games on the ACC slate today. Many of you watched the first game of our CW Courtside Saturday doubleheader and saw NC State improve to 4-1 in the ACC with an 89-83 win at Louisville. By the way, NC State has now won five of their last six, and North Carolina wow. have won six in a row undefeated in conference That play. should count for two wins. I mean, I, I don't know how you Let's not it. get crazy now. <laughs> I mean, Syracuse guy. Talk to him. <laughs> I will say, going back to the offensive rebounding for Florida State, they, they've shot the ball 30 times to Notre Dame's 19. They've taken 11 more shots because, of course, they've missed, but they've gone and got it back to give themselves a shot, and that's why this game's where it's at score-wise. Jackson another one. Yeah, had it bounce off. Baba Miller. And then they convert. That's Darren Green, Jr. There's got to be a high level of frustration from Coach Shrewsbury because how good you've been defensively just making a one-off each time. Defend just once, get the thing going the other way, then you build trying to defend once well and then you get exploited the second time and we've got a tie score for the fifth time this afternoon now tied at 24 will stay that way zona tried to grab it miller was there as well and the officials say that is off of florida state nine offensive rebounds for the Knowles. hey you're tracking towards 20 offensive rebounds in a game i mean that is wholly unacceptable for any team Golds are in the midst of a three-game winning streak. Wins against Wake, Virginia Tech, and Georgia Tech. The only loss in ACC play, December 2nd at number 7 North Carolina. Roper's looking to win this matchup versus Ganey. Against two defenders, Ganey recovered and tipped it. But it was the help from Green being there to slow him down for Ganey to come recover and block the shot. Jalen Worley driving and creating contact, and he'll be at the free throw line when we come back. Tied for the fifth time of the first half. Exactly four minutes to go. He's the apex in this game. This is who he can be. Nobody on the Notre Dame team, and quite frankly, maybe in college basketball, works as hard as this guy. He's a gym rat. It's eventually going to click with his level of talent. Look, he started the season, probably a lot of pressure. Coaches saw him, new place. Uh, again, he's a freaking freshman. Like, it's a lot coming at you. He's 20 to 77 from 3, 26%. Starting to become more comfortable with his teammates, the system, the level of play. And he's 10 of his last 17, shooting nearly 60%. He's going to be okay. Uh, but the level of pressure for him to be the lone shooter is simply too much. He's getting it from the other guys now as well. 0 for 2 from the floor so far for Shrewsbury in 10 minutes of action. And he scored the 25 on Tuesday. He played 32 minutes, was perfect from the free throw line. 5 of 9, season high, 5 made threes. Shrewsbury. Talking to Coach Shrewsbury before, uh, on the heels of that performance from Braden, and I said to him, I said, you know, did you know he was ready for one of those? He said, you can just see in his eyes, like, he's my son. I know when he's got a little bit of that extra oomph to him, that swagger, the heads bobbing pregame. And again, with how he played coming off Duke, he was ready for that. And off the inbounds, Notre Dame turns it over. Jalen Worley was at the free throw line for Florida State. He's their leading scorer in the first half with six points for the junior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Just six points, four boards. And all of his points in the win against Wake came from the free throw line. And 
Worley. Oh, he got away with one there. He's triple team for a moment. Clean blockouts from the Irish to give him a chance to go the other way. The Irish have lost three in a row in the series, including the two meetings between the teams last year in December and January of the year last year. December matchup, just a one-point loss. Benesny in trouble. Gave it back to the Knowles. Benesny just, just doing too much. He's, he's had a few sequences like that in his game. Look, he plays with an edge that the Irish need. It fuels them. But he's got to make quicker decisions. And just, you don't have anything moving. Six turnovers in the first half for Notre Dame. Just two for the Knowles. Miller to the rim, and it'll fall, and he's going to the line. It's a pro move. Pro move from Boba Miller right there, understanding at 6'11". He has a good 3-4 inch advantage right here, and he wastes no time. Doesn't allow help side to get there because of how decisive he was with the offering in the interior. Get one to go. I, I did mention there's professional scouts here to watch him. That, those are the kind of moments they want to see from the the uber skilled hybrid forward. Eight points and five rebounds. The averages for Baba Miller, who completes the old school three point play. The sophomore from Mallorca, Spain, the Mediterranean island. 6'11, 204. And I believe his ceiling is so incredibly high. He hasn't fully recognized his ability and what he can be in this game quite yet. And I think that's very alluring to scouts. Shrewsbury had it knocked away, deflected by Worley. And the attempted free throw line jumper. Worley will direct a little bit of traffic with two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Tried to chisel his way through two defenders, couldn't do it. Good help side from Zona, Shrewsbury, 0-8 defense. That's too easy of a blow by defensively Zona there to pick him up. Florida State's lead is five. Burton had it knocked away. How about that fight? He goes to the floor and gets it to Zona. With the fake and Miller is defending. Miller went up and got a piece of the rim there as Zona put the fake on Miller. I'll tell you, when you average 16 points a game and you're fighting for possessions like this for your team, that's how you garner the respect of your teammates and you want to play for a guy like that you, you want to see your stars willing to do the dirty things that it takes to win generating a possession right there for zona to get to the line a great example so burton will get a breather notre dame at the free throw line with zona just one of seven so far free throws Oof, now one of eight been a lane violation there Coach Roosbury just shout, take your time. Don't rush it. Nobody's guarding. Easy for me to say, please do not Google <laughs> my free throw percentage. Nobody needs to know that. I mentioned the shot blocking. We took care of that. Yeah, good stuff. Zona's now 0 for 3 from the line. One of eight as a team. It's a lot of money left on the table, Tom. Wow. Notre Dame is a team 73% from the line, 10th in the conference for the complete body of work. Spears angles his way. Finesne able to pull it in. 145 on the game clock. They're sending doubles. If you're dribbling too long, they're going to try and pick the pocket. Good drive, strong drive from Finesne taking advantage of the gap opportunity. That stops a 9-0 run for Florida State. Three-point game. Largest lead by either team in the first half. Five for Florida State. Corrin missed from in close. Eines able to grab it. Eines will cross it over against Corrin. Out to Roper. Long rebound. Spears one on two. Roper was back defensively and picks up the foul. 
unlucky bounce there from the Irish on the, the shot opportunity. Gets it off, and then Spears is going with a lot of momentum and steam. I, I saw no contact there from Julian Roper. Certainly nothing that would result in a whistle and a foul. It's the second foul on Roper, who has six points. Kodesny leads the way with eight for Notre Dame in the first half. Spears at the free throw line. Coming up on the Subaru Halftime Report from Notre Dame, Indiana. We'll get a recap from NC State and Louisville, a win by the Wolfpack on the road. Preview of the women's game tomorrow, Miami and Notre Dame. Highlights and stats from the first 20 minutes of Florida State and Notre Dame, their only regular season meeting. I'll tell you who I'm going to be watching, Hannah Hidalgo. You and everybody else in oh, women's man. college basketball. Seven times the ACC Rookie of the Week. Stick around. I know it's very early in her career, but her jersey can be in the rafters. She plays a couple <laughs> seasons. She's that kind of good. You can say it when you see it that early on. She's got the mentality, the work ethic, the ability, the leadership quality. She's got it all. She's got it all. Hey, those numbers aren't bad, Tom, are they? Those are pretty good. Getting it done for Coach Neil Ivey Shh. and the Irish. With Olivia out still recovering from that knee injury, it's been nice to be able to bring somebody in that can provide those type of numbers that Hannah's provided for this Irish group. Yeah, they had a huge win against Boston College on Thursday, and they'll take the court tomorrow against Katie Myers. Hurricanes from Miami. That'll be a good one, because the Irish have struggled with those, those athletic teams like uh, Miami presents. Syracuse gave them problems with their athleticism so that's no easy one for the Irish that'll be a good good game we'll have it for you tomorrow on the CW noontime right now we've got inside of a minute to go in our first half 53.1 seconds and a five-point lead for Florida State I think you're see some sort of exchange here with Kinesny and Burton if Burton doesn't just get it going right away but these two been able to open something up five points in the first half for Burton Nesny, shot clock at 10. Burton time. Burton just launches that three and knocks it down. Second made three of the game. Marcus Burton, and he's got eight points. Never felt sped up. Stayed within himself, safe, composed, gathered, squared the shoulders, and delivered. Worley against two defenders. Ganey had a chance at it, run down by Bull Bowen. He'll take it right to the rim. Oh, he calculated the angle right at the end of the half. Score the basket. Bull Bowen on the drive. The length. We're ready to crank up the second half from Notre Dame, Indiana. CW Sports in our presentation of ACC basketball. Tom Wormy, Jordan Cornett, the former Notre Dame standout, all-time leading shot blocker in our outstanding production crew. That is Burton has to send it back out. 44% from the floor in the first half for the Irish. Too much dribbling. This is when you get into trouble. Got to move that thing. Five on the shot clock. Kunesny got tripped up and he traveled. Possession was doomed from the beginning with Julian Roper. Dribble, 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 dribble. And that's what Coach Shrewsbury is, is kind of helping him along with after the possession ultimately ended up where we knew it was going, a turnover. Roper had six points in the first half on a couple of made threes. Both Burton and Kinesny had eight points. Eight different players with an all scored in that first half. Worley. Literally one on one with Roper and Warley wins it. And it's decent defense, better offense to be able to elevate over with your strong hand on that on that left side. Nonetheless, tough angle gets it to go. Biggest lead by either team. Right now it is six for Florida State. Knowles won here a year ago in January, last season. 84-71. Kinesny misfires. The other meeting was December of last season, Jordan. A one-point win at home for Florida State, which has won three in a row in the series. Early again. These two give you the theatrics, give you the dramatics. I'm here for it. Told you how close their last 
five games have been. That bounces off the side of the rim for Watkins. Irish in transition with Roper. Lines up the three. Got his own miss. Great pass from Knezny. Daylight for Burton. He misses. Pristine looks. That's what's plagued them when they're at that low level, when they're getting great looks and can't convert. Watkins inside and some traffic. Meanwhile, Florida State foot on the gas, trying to take it to the rim, challenge the, 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 the fortitude intestinally of this group. Can they defend on the interior? Four points for Jameer Watkins. go against the Irish and Burton. That's his third. So Burton with eight points, three of six from the floor. Picks up the foul for the Irish. A couple early turnovers for the Irish. That's what Florida State wants to do, but it disrupts a rhythm. And Florida State quietly building a lead here in this first segment of the second half. Watkins just had that last basket. He had 19 points to lead the team in that win Tuesday at home against Wake Forest. Mesny and Roper combining on the defensive effort, but a foul is called. Florida State very aware of that one of eight from the three-point line performance in the first half. They're saying, we're, we're coming at you. Forget the three-point line. We're in attack mode. Let's get downhill. Let's draw some fouls. Let's see how tough this Notre Dame defense truly is. Watkins at the free throw line. 80% free throw shooter. And that is the first miss from the line in the game for Florida State. It had been six of six in the first half. Can't blame me for that one, Jordan. I waited till after and the free throw. That's not the jinx, you're right to make the mention. <laughs> Redshirt Jr. from Trenton, New Jersey. The transfer from Virginia Commonwealth at the free throw line. So over halftime now, it's a 7-0 run for Florida State. And Notre Dame is 0 for 3 from the floor with a couple of turnovers early on in the second half. Mesny. Trying to get it to Jai inside. Good catch. Miller was ready defensively. Firing away for three. Right in front of his own bench for Darren Green Jr. And a timeout, Notre Dame. Defense from Baba Miller. Shot block. Gets them going. Ignites it going the other way. The three ball dialed down for Darren Green. And Florida State taking firm control. Florida State with an 8-0 run to start the second half, and they are doing it defensively, picking up right where they left off in the first half. Now six blocks as a team in the game. Been really impressed, and the late great Bill Russell would appreciate it too. Baba Miller able to block the shot, keep it in play to get them going the other way with momentum, and Green gets the three ball to go. They haven't shot the three well. They haven't really particularly shot it well all season, but shots like that provide greater opportunity, and Green is one of the best shooters on the floor for this group. Defensively, they've applied pressure on the Irish. They've turned them over, and they're starting to be in attack mode offensively as well. Everything's falling in line for the Knowles. Both teams average about seven made threes per game. Notre Dame ripped off six made threes in the first half, yet to score in the second half. Benesny down the lane, triple T. He's just going too far. He, he's got to play off two. It's got to be a jump stop. Must play off two instead of driving too far into the defense, into a dead end. He's done it too many times today. Ganey regathers, sends it back out. Worley. Miller has an advantage over Imes, trying to use it. Bounces out. Imes with the basketball. Shrewsbury, Zona, straight away, front rim. Couldn't follow the miss, Darren Green Jr. Deflected Kinesny, able to grab it. Great effort and a foul was called. Worley was near him and he will pick up his second. 
personal. Notre Dame basketball when we come back on the CW. With a little added swagger, look, Padula is a tactician with the basketball. Uh, he can make a lot of things happen. He's deceptively has a burst to him, and he's got a trigger from beyond the yard. They played through him. His confidence only grew throughout that game. What a performance. Back-to-back -back career highs. 32 and 26 points for Padula. Also leads them in steals and assists for head coach Mike Young in Virginia Tech. A couple of years removed from their ACC Tournament Championship. Notre Dame trailing right now, 41-29, trying to harvest their first points of the second half. They don't score a ton. They can belabor to do it. So this feels like an important juncture in this game, no question. Especially after the effort by Konezny to get the ball back at the other end. Burton was driving and a whistle would foul. Second on Green Jr. for Florida State. This is the second of our two games on CW Courtside Saturday. Most of you saw NC State prove its ACC record to 4-1, 89-83 on the road of Louisville. Burton, the leading scorer for the Irish this season is the freshman. Roper got the start today in place of Tay Davis, and the shot clock is down to four for Shrewsbury. Step in back. Jordan, his first two points of the game, now one of four from the floor. But very confident, pulled back, realized six seconds, it was on him in isolation, got to his spot, stepped back once again for separation. We're seeing the growth of the confidence of that young man as a scorer. 25 points in the OT win against Georgia Tech on Tuesday for Shrewsbury. Deep into the shot clock for the Knowles. Tough shot of the baseline. Picked up by Burton. Burton accelerating. Change of speed, and he's fouled on the attempt. It's going to be what, Chandler Jackson. They're going to get on that one. You love the aggressive nature in which Burton pushes in the open floor. Had nobody accompanying him on his own team. Enforcement's coming down with him, but undeterred fearless driving it to the rack. So Burton to the free throw line for the first time in the game, Jordan. One of eight so far from the line and now Burton knocks down the second free throw of the game for the Irish. And you would expect that. Tenth in the conference. 83% for the freshman for Mishawaka, Indiana. Right here. No jinx there for my guy, Tom. <laughs> two for two and all of a sudden the Irish a couple buckets consecutively and a stop built in. He's got 10 points now for the 15th time this season. Double figure scoring for Burton. Along the baseline of the jumper, Spears. Spears got the exchange he wanted, had Zona defensively on his heels. He had a clean look from the baseline, able to connect. So Spears now up to six points in the game. He struggled against Wake Forest, just one of six shooting. Miscommunication, Burton able to keep it alive. I'm spinning. High degree of difficulty, and he lays it off the glass. But you know the difference in that exchange is a jump stop. He came to a composed stop, so as not to charge, so as not to lose the basketball. That composure to then go up with the layup was everything. One basket, and the freshman Imes is above his season average. Burton, the steal, and the lay-in. Here comes the Irish, down by six. Watkins, deep into the teeth of the Irish D, and that is off of Notre Dame. Take a look what I'm talking about with Ives. It's not a standard come to two, but it's that stop, pivot. Then he's gathered himself, now he's ready to go up sturdy to go up and finish for two. Not out of control. A tough drive, stop, compose, then go. He now has four points. That is part of an 8-2 Notre Dame run. Crowd was getting a look at the replay. Got that out of bounds play. On the big monitor above the court here at Purcell Pavilion. 
home of Irish basketball since 1968. Incredible renovations to this facility. To say the least, man. I remember what it was like when I played here from 01 to 05. As a transfer from Georgetown and Duquesne. Stolen back. It is Spears on the dribble. And the kick. Worley filling the lane and putting it in. Vintage Florida State. Apply ball pressure, turnover, guys fill lanes, easy layup the other way. And all the momentum on the Nola side here on the road, seeking their first true road win of the season. Worley is the first Florida State player into double digits. He now has 10 on four of eight shooting. Burton, the fake, got through the defenders, couldn't finish it off, and Zona tried to volleyball it out, Worley. He'll drive it again. Too strong, and now Burton, we're running up and down the court. And it's not the pace the Irish want to play at. Shrewsbury for three. Follow Roper trying to jam it. He got it back. Trying to go up strong and denied by Jackson. Burton defending Spears. Able to save it. Miller. Pass in tight quarters to Corrin, who puts it in and earns a free throw. Florida State flexing their muscle, and they're doing it on the defensive end to spur everything. Almost an unforced error there of Swartz. And then on the run out, Jalen Ward. That's what we call accumulation. That is what we call South Bend. <laughs> That's all right. We're November, here. November, December, January, February, March, even April. I mean, how about these fans coming out to see this game this afternoon? Yeah, they're hoping to see the Irish provide a little bit more of a fight and some resistance as Florida State's taking firm control. Corn at the free throw line. That's eight straight points in a minute and change for Florida State. Just a minute ago, it was 43 37, but that lead has swelled. The Florida State foul is called on the Knolls. Jackson will pick it up. Second foul on Jackson. Florida State just so the closing speed is impressive. The suffocating nature of this full court pressure. And there's no foot off the pedal because they're playing 13 guys. So a lot of guys are getting run to overwhelm them. Amazingly, Florida State According to their SID, Chuck Walsh, 20 players on the roster for the Knowles. And a lot of them, the vast majority, see action. Nine players have scored for Florida State today. Inside of 10 for Roper. Benesny, the safety valve. They're, they're bothered. They're yeah. bothered by the pressure. Double team. They get the shot away. Miss from Booth. Remember, he had an early three-pointer in this one. These are not confident drives from the Irish. They feel like the, the looks they're taking are, by all accounts, desperation shots. Florida State's doing a heck of a job at this point. Spears. They'll just fire away. This board from Konezny. Notre Dame stopped the two-game losing streak with its win on the road at Georgia Tech on Tuesday. That was in overtime. Outscored Georgia Tech 9-2 in the overtime period. Konezny reversing field. Lead in the shot clock for Imes. And that one spins in. So Imes has shown a propensity to drive and find daylight. A couple of layups. Spears absorbing contact. This shot was way off Jordan. What Himes? Gotta have one of these. Booth hustled in after his miss and laid it in. Now that's old school basketball. Yeah, yeah, that'll get you excited, Tom. Follow your miss shot, and that's what Booth did. And Booth knew when he let it go, it was short. Uh, good judgment from him to understand where that thing was going to careen off. And he just beat Florida State to the punch. Booth has five points in the game. You don't see that enough. You got out of your chair, days. my friend. We both appreciated that. Follow Nobody follows this. Shot. Foul coming up. I'm talking about as soon as Booth released. Watch. He's running after him. He goes, oh, no, no, no. I know that's bad. Goes right there. Three defenders. Don't watch me watch TV. 
get the put back. Did you see the reaction from Jackson? Zero for Florida State. He was just ready to yeah. have that one fall right into because his lap. Again, no, but there's no rebounders down there, and no one follows their shot anymore. And that could maybe kickstart this Irish team, give them some belief. As Florida State has taken the majority of it from them here in the second half. The lead is 10. It'll stay that way. By the way, Konezny picked up his third personal on the previous sequence prior to the whistle. They're going to keep him out. He's got the ball right now. And it poked away by Watkins. It'll stay with Notre Dame. You mentioned the rebounding, Jordan. A slight edge to Florida State right now. 32-31. Something to keep an eye on. Notre Dame's done a good job of keeping them off that offensive backboard for the most part in, in, in the second half, I should say. Burton over Ganey, the taller player, does not matter to Burton. All of 5'11 and the freshman without fear and 14 points. Remember, he had 29 points in his freshman debut against Niagara to set a school record. That's out of bounds and back to the Irish. So a few minutes ago, they were able to cut the lead to six, and then Florida State went on a run. Capable hands of Burton. Impressive freshman player. Also had a 20-point game against Marquette, which is a national contender. Burton crossed it over. Tried to kick it. Was deflected. Shrewsbury lets it go out of bounds. And Burton frustrated because once he got into that nail into the paint, he knew he had a committed defender. He knew he had Shrewsbury for a catch-and-shoot opportunity. The deflection from these active Florida State hands does enough to prevent that three-point look. Irish trying to improve on a 6-0 run. Jai, dribble. Kunesny, catch and release for three. Kunesny. This is the difference between Notre Dame from a month ago and post call out from Coach Shrewsbury. They might be down, but the fight is there and they're never out. And all of a sudden, we've got a game. And it started with that Kerry Booth putback, in all honesty. Kunesny is into double digits for the ninth time this season with 11. Watkins a tough shot over Jai. Now he's going to set that defense once again. Try and go turnover chasing. There it is. Shoesbury trying to tie up Watkins. He may have picked up the foul, and he did. 53-46, 7.38 to go in the second half. Times it can bleed over to the defensive end. It's just human nature for 18 to 22 year olds. But seeing the ball go in the basket, much like it did in the first half, kick starts the group. Now all of a sudden they're locating their blockouts. They're a little bit better with the basketball. They're communicating a little bit more. But again, you can't have drop offs like Braden Shrewsbury giving the ball back in the front court, in the back court like that, and allowing Florida State to make something happen. Seven and a half minutes to go in regulation. Florida State led by as many as 14 here in the second half and by four at halftime. Shot clock at 10. Bull Bowen. Booth was working hard on the offensive glass and able to pull in the defensive rebound and contact made. Kerry Booth has really provided a jolt for this group here in the second half and he's done it with a fight. Pretty impressive to see from a freshman who's not even really come into his own with his body yet, but still developing because he's so young. But the mentality is there, and obviously the skill set. He's also a guy capable of making some shots here for the Irish here in the final seven. Booth had originally signed at Penn State before Coach Shrewsbury came here to Notre Dame. Booth's dad, who was a hell of a player. Calvin, played about at a shop. You talk about a shop block. Yeah. Irish throw it out of bounds into their own bench area and the 12th turnover of the game. He's a pretty good NBA executive as well. Yeah. Well, right mind. General manager of the Denver Nuggets and the 1998 Defensive Player of the Year, Alvin Booth at Penn State. Here's Green. Close from Imes. 
Watkins. That's high level defense from Kinesin. Fighting through the screen, getting there. High level contest, and then the Irish rebound. Burton took a tumble and a foul against Florida State. And whistle Watkins for his third. So both teams now in the second half with six team fouls. Kinesny on the inbounds to Burton. He leads the way with 14. Kinesny has 11. Himes wants it. It's good offense. Burton with the Jordan shake to get into that defense. Again, kick out. Drive and kick. Just couldn't get the shot. Green has three at the other end for Florida State. He's got 10 now, trying to defend Burton. What I like about Green is he forgets about the last miss and goes in pursuit of the next make. That'll fall in for Burton. A little bit of contact there, Burton, on the drive. No call. 16 points on 6 of 10 shooting and a couple of three-pointers for Marcus Burton. Green has two made threes in the game. He now has 341 made threes for his career. Seventh most among active players in Division One. That one fumbled and lost to Kadesny. Trying to go all the way, and he got tied up by Green. Kadesny has to learn the jump stop. He has to learn to play off of two. Now, he drew the whistle there. He's going fast, but if I'm a defender, I've been watching film of him, I'm saying, let him come at me like an out-of-control locomotive. I love the reckless abandon in which he plays, and he's also versatile, can step out, but get out of control sometimes. That's the next step for a very talented piece for the Irish. Junior from right here in South Bend. One and one, can't connect on the front end. Free throws, crushing. Miller. Trying to drive it and save it. Konezny stepping in the passing lane. Decision-making time again. He's driving into dangerous spots. <laughs> Gotta be. Burton, he floated it. Jai got it. Now a wrestle for the loose ball. And the arrow favors Florida State. It was Green who came over to tie up Jai. Still just an eight-point game. Konezny to the bench. Does have three personal fouls, 11 points. Braden Shrewsbury, just two points so far, Jordan. One of five shooting after that big 25-point performance. It hasn't been the volume from Shrewsbury that we've seen, but shooters are always going to be looking for that next opportunity. Watkins, Jai, holding his ground, but Watkins got it back. And he will rock the stanchion on the jam. Only the second offensive rebound of this half for Florida State, but it's a big one. Nine points now for Watkins, leading scorer this season for Florida State. Just over 13 per game. Himes has to send it back out. Quick shot from Shrewsbury. That's got to be a foul. They, they got, that was a hook down low on Kevin Jai. The giant Watkins. Yeah, Watkins had him hooked. Hook and hold down there. Approaching the four minute threshold of the second half. And a 10 point lead for Florida State in possession of the ball. Worley. Shrewsbury able to get the rebound. Tough rebound in traffic for the young guard. Burton on the run, hanging, and scoring. <laughs> That's how you play off of two. A powerful jump stop. Composure in the air. And that's a score, wire to score at his best. 18 points now for Burton and a critical bucket for the Irish. Fighting for the board, it's Jai. Burton again, putting him on his back and laying it in. Changing of tempos, the burst of speed, like a running back in the open field. Burton delivering for the Irish and the crowd. Heck, you take a listen. Burton now with 20 points. Time up.
Marcus Burton has the last six points for the Irish in Notre Dame, closing the Florida State lead to six as we take a look at our Pacific Life Game summary presented by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. I, I, I gotta give credit to this Florida State defense. As much as they've been able to generate some turnovers to go the other way, it's been active hands, deflections, and blocking shots also that have served as a catalyst to get them going in the open floor. And they run like deer. Everybody can change it in. Everybody can fill a lane and everybody can finish. Uh, but credit to this, the fight, the resiliency of this Irish team not to lay down on their home floor. We've got a good one. Buckle up for the final three <laughs> minutes here in South Bend. Seven blocks and eight steals in the game for Florida State. They are a second best in the conference in steals. They've got possession right now. Approaching three minutes to go in regulation. After leading by four at halftime, Burton hit the deck and foul. Foreign on the on the screen. And again, credit Burton for the effort. If you fight through a screen like that, the screener feels like, oh, I better shuffle and move to get my body on him. And that's when you violate. Take a look, Burton fighting here, dashing through it. Corn absolutely moved. He was not supplanted there. Striking a body on Burton. Credit Burton for the effort. Third foul on Corin for Florida State. Himes and Burton in that Irish backcourt. Shrewsbury there as well. Joined by Jai and Roper. Burton on the run, lost the handle out of bounds. It will stay with Notre Dame. He's a cop, she's a con, and together, this unlikely duo makes the perfect pair. The CW's brand new show, Wild Cards, premieres this Wednesday, January 17th, 8, 7 Central, right here on The CW. Had to get one. So a timeout taken, Notre Dame. Are just continuing the momentum here on CW Courtside Saturday. Jordan, that we built during the college football season in the ACC as well, and we're witnessing another spectacular game on the CW. And you know what? I'm always weary because something about the CW <laughs> and any athletic contest, it gets wacky down the stretch. It's it always a moment, it feels like. And why not in this one? A one that looked very competitive in the first half. Florida State with that defensive intensity open it up in the second half. But the star, the freshman phenom that is Marcus Burton, single-handedly willing this group back. And it's going to come down to, can the Irish take care of the basketball? Can Florida State continue to be in attack mode? But some of those lopsided scores, we don't have that. Not here right now. Yeah, Burton has 12 points in the second half. North Carolina continues to roll. Now Virginia really struggling on the road, most especially. Being outscored by 20 is becoming the norm on the road for Virginia. Wild to see. North Carolina's won six in a row, 5-0 in the ACC. This is Burton again, had it deflected away. Said it. It's going to come down to can he take care of the basketball here. Final two and a half. That's the fourth turnover for Burton as well. So as well as he's played, he's kind of had his careless moments. So that's the fourth foul on Burton. So Watkins to the free throw line. Can't even flirt with taking Burton out of the ball. It's final two, 244. He's going to have to play dancing that line. Eighty percent on the season for Watkins from the line. Two of three so far in the game for the strike. Despite the miss, Watkins is in the double digits along with Worley and Green. All have 10 for Florida State. Burton with 20 for the fifth time this season and the first time in an ACC game. Here's your look. Shrewsbury. It's a three. He's ripping the ropes for the Irish. Great set drawn up right there to get your shooter a look. It's a two possession game here, two minutes left. Marcel Pavilion coming alive late in the game. 59-55 Florida State. Spears. Big time. Big time off the bounce. Big time off the bounce from Spears. 
and is a scorer, closing in on a thousand career points. Spears now with 11. He's the fourth player to get the double digits for Florida State. Shot clock down to 10 for Burton. Off balance shot. Able to get it back somehow. Shrewsbury again. Another three. Credit Burton to chase down the loose ball. He, he couldn't get the first one, but again, he stays with the play. And Shrewsbury has been quiet. Big time shots for the Irish. Back to back threes. Brayton Shrewsbury. Three point game. It's a real shooter. Forget what's happened in the first half. I'm coming out of your fire. Final minute. Spears off the Miller screen. He just got in that paint, had Jai on his heels, spin to win with the float game on 10. 13 points for Primo Spears. He hasn't shot a great percentage, but right here he gets the exchange he wants. He knew Jai couldn't dance with him. Not as he's carving it up into the paint. And he just had Jai lost. Clock kept, clock kept running. They needed to adjust the clock. We're under one minute. Adjustment there. We're going to get back to playing basketball. But Spears and Shrewsbury exchange some big time moments offensively. 13 for Spears, the most for Florida State in this game. All the points for Shrewsbury coming in the second half. Wants the ball again. Burton. Shrewsbury. Bounces out. Watkins high for the board. He runs into Giant Shrewsbury. Still in the one and one for Florida State here. In fact, for both teams. Told you that four of the last five meetings between the teams have been decided by four points or fewer. Expected a close one, exactly what we got. Even though Florida State had gone out to a 14 point lead pretty early on, they scored the first eight points in the second half. Led by four at halftime. All right, Jordan, the biggest stars gather at the 29th Annual Critics' Choice Awards, hosted by Chelsea Handler. Tomorrow, 7 Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, on the CW, the Critics' Choice Awards. Hosting gigs are tough. <laughs> I'm sure she will do a fantastic job. Oh, she'll knock it out. Yep. What a game we have seen between Florida State and Notre Dame. Both of these teams at this juncture in the season appearing to turn a bit of a corner. Florida State winning three in a row. All those home games in a row for Florida State, they took advantage of that. And Notre Dame with its win on the road at Georgia Tech on Tuesday in overtime. They've won three of their last five. Yeah, both these teams have their shortcomings, and their shortcomings are, are different as opposed to what Florida State has and what Notre Dame has. But what you are finding is two teams that are clearly responding to coaching, two teams that are markedly improving with each game. And look, Florida State is on the precipice 38 seconds away from, from putting together a four-game win streak here. It's starting to get healthier. It's starting to really get that system going. Now, this is the clock. So we're going to probably take some time off here. I'm going to talk to Roger Ayers. Pros at 37-8, but it should not have stopped that early. So they tacked off four more seconds, roughly, to get the clock accurate. 9 of 11 is a team from the line for Florida State in the game. Also, two teams totally different from the free throw line and how one is weaponized at the other one. Left a lot of money on the table. Obviously, Florida State, the one taking care of business at the charity strike. Notre Dame as a team, three of 11 on free throws. Six point deficit, that matters. Couple of cool free throws from Watkins. Seven point game here. You don't need a three, you just need something very quick. This is slow developing here. Florida State looking for its first true road win of the year. Slow developing for sure. Hines. Shrewsbury misses out of the corner. He had made his previous two attempts from distance. And he has to go commit the foul. 
Credit this Florida State team. They use their defensive effort. It wasn't necessarily always turnovers, but whether it be shot blocks, deflections, and it gave them the confidence, like we said it needs to, for them to have a totally different second half. Percentages from the field almost 10% higher in the second half from the three-point line, 50% from there in the second half. Looked like a totally different team how they came out the final 20. Miller is at the line for Florida State. Had won five of their previous six games. Those were all home games and three in a row. They had a seven-game homestand prior to coming to South Bend. Snow, frigid temperatures not bothering the guys from Tallahassee. Coach Ham's done a heck of a job with this group at this point in time in the season. Those rim protectors really made it challenging for driving lanes for this Irish team. When they get in there, they were very aware of shot blockers, potential deflections. Uh, this was a defensive effort to key this Knowles team to a win here on the road. And Florida State with the victory this afternoon, eclipsing its win total from a season ago. Coach Hamilton's team is now 10 and six. Notre Dame drops to seven and 10. Yeah, Notre Dame's growing. This program, it, it, it's, it's learning.